Good morning viewers, I've got Bunty in my arms and the cat by my feet, I'm on the bed and I'm already telling lies. It's actually quarter to one in the afternoon, but my excuse is twofold. I've been waiting for this lashing down rain to stop and it has just stopped. And also, I've been letting Bunty sleep off his illness. I'm very, very happy today that he's gone a whole night without getting up and uh, having uh, explosive episodes of diarrhoea all around the flat. F five and a half days he's been really poorly, but in all that time, when I have took him out the house, he's still been wagging his tail. He's responding to his medicines and uh, I'm just looking after him as best as I can. I've been like really, really worried about this little poppet. I'm going to take him for a walk now, do a bit of a vlog. Um, shout out to Nat Nelly in Welsh Wales. She's been a bit poorly lately. Uh, bless her. She does, does suffer from uh, a few things. So. Shout out to Nat Nelly from me and Buster. Yay, Nat Nelly. Yay, my favourite, my favourite viewer. Is that right, Bunt? Oh, God bless. See, Nat, you've got a massive fan in, in Buster. Right, so I'm going to go out and about and uh, see what if we can see what the storm's done. And... Uh, I might message Badger in a minute to see if we can go down to the beautiful mill, see how the uh, building flood waters are rising. It's probably not been flooded yet, but in all honesty, it's waiting for a flood any day now with all this weather and rain. So go out and about into the countryside and see what we can see. Shout out to Stephen Law as well, who's just uh, made his own metal detecting facebook group on facebook it's not on blum and twitter if it's a facebook group is it but stephen law's metal detecting group on facebook is called uk metal detecting days go and join it and say hello because like me and like all of us steve's got a lot of issues he's, he's having to be faced with at the minute could make uh, a strong man crumble uh, and he's just trying to be positive like like what I do so go and join his group UK metal detecting days and uh, me and Buster will see you in there all right puffs let's see what waffle we can waffle in the countryside if I wake up this afternoon I look a bit blurry eyed before I message Badger, I'd like to uh, dedicate this video to his wife, Lucy's doggy, Grace. Big, huge, black, fluffy thing. Uh, unfortunately, Grace had been suffering recently and uh, she, was, she wasn't showing any signs of improvement. And when they took her the vets a few days ago, they got the sad news that there wasn't wasn't anything that could be done for her so gracie had to be put to sleep she's now up in doggy heaven constantly watching over everybody at the mill so yeah god bless grace and uh thinking about you all at this sad time badger and loose some wonderful pictures here of the beautiful grace god bless her soul she's going to be Greatly missed by uh, Badger and Luce and all their family and friends, including me and Buster. God bless you. Well, viewers, first things first. Uh, take take the pets out. Take the pets out for a walk. Till <whistles> she will follow us. I think she's just having a piss. Come on, Till. She makes a drama out of it, but she does follow us. puppy cat she'll go that way oh there she is come on then till till 
Let's see if we can celebrate Buster's first solid ship for a week. I won't show you it, viewers, but I'll let you know its consistency. Still blowy, viewers. I'll put my wind jammer in when we get to the mill. It's raining again as well. Come on, get out of there, Tilly. Your hiding places. Yeah, uh, it's gone from the consistency of a cappuccino, a frothy cappuccino, to uh, like one of them chocolate mousse things that you can buy. So it's not solid, but it's semi-solid, viewers. Massive shout out to Buster. She always loiters, viewers, and if we leave her behind, she lets out this almighty screech that stops all the passing members of the public in her tracks. I do love our little black and white. Well, they keep you on your toes, these petties. They blum and do, viewers, as you all know. Come on, Tilly Billy. You go back in, Till. You go back in and mind all my Roman brooches for me, darling. You take anyone's hands off, he puts her hand in. Buster, me and you make our getaway to the farm shop and then to the mill. Are you coming, Till, or what? You never do. You never do, you big fuss pot. We love you. We'll be back soon. We'll give you more food and cuddles. Right, viewers. Me and Buster are just going... Uh, to the farm shop and then to the mill i'm gonna see if this camera mount is worth the pennies are paid for it because uh because um i paid for it and i never use it it's it's mounted into my window there now but it's actually on that side uh I'll take these glasses off for a minute because one of my neighbors has just pulled in but i have to drive around like this with my hood up and uh sunglasses on because I get stopped all the time. I'm quite famous in the local community. And if it's not people uh, stopping me for an autograph, it's people thinking <coughs> I'm a dodgy Scouse drug dealer on the <coughs> county lines into their little Hampton community. And I'm not, I am famous. I will give you autographs years, but I'm not a county lines drug dealer for <coughs> those who don't know me. Buster wouldn't let me do that. <coughs> right. Let's go tip fucking farm shop, bunt. Stop your buntering. Let's see if this wobbles or not, viewers. I don't know if it's fucking wobbling. Is it wobbling, viewers? You tell me in the comments. Is my £30 camera mount worth a wank or not? Because I've never used it. Never used it, viewers. I need it to go that way. Need it to face that way, don't I? But it is so shoddy that I'm not sure how I'm going to get it to face that way. Uh, yeah, let's go and get some flabbery rolls, Bunter, with your semi-solid shits. Dodge the rain, go and see. There's um, a protective tree species, one of, one of Badge's free, free protective trees. And... Uh, a big limb, limb has come off it in the storm. We'll go and check that out. We'll go and see what the what it's like, what the water levels are like. It's due to be flooded tomorrow in the mill. So I might catch up with a bit of that footage as well at some point. Yeah, no, I ain't got no drugs for you, mate. I ain't got no fucking listen, I'm not, I'm not Trevor. This is fucking Anglo-Celtic. I know I've got a Scouse accent. No, I haven't got any white or brown, lad. Sorry, viewers. There are a few, a few. They're mixing me up with some Scouse drug dealer, apparently, called Trevor, Clever Trevor. Fucking hell, I wish he had his money. I bet he's fucking minted, isn't he? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, viewers. Uh, me and Buster are currently not working. We're looking after each other. If your horse comes in or you do find a big bag of drugs and you move them on or whatever you want to do, if you're rolling in the clover one day, I will put the link to my Kofi, which is a bit like PayPal. I'll put that in the pinned comments. 
I'll just get out of the way of this Mercedes or BMW, whatever the fucking German shit it is. Oh, there's two of the bastards. I'm not saying the drivers are bastards, but the vehicles are bastards, <laughs> aren't they? They were fucking inspired by Hitler and that. I don't like German cars, but then I'm a massive fucking hypocrite because this is Hirohito's car, isn't it? The fucking... <laughs> yeah, I am a bit of a hip hypocrite. <laughs> Sorry to my German viewers. I like ya. Just don't <laughs> like your cars. Um, right, stop waffling, Stevie. Go and get <laughs> some flabbery rolls. <laughs> Yeah, but <coughs> like, comment, subscribe, <coughs> keeps my channel vibrant. Uh, <coughs> if you do have a good week on the horses, <coughs> like I say, there's a Kofi link, which is like a <coughs> PayPal, in the comments. You can chuck me <coughs> a couple of quid if <coughs> you want. No big deal. I'm not on the scav. Just <coughs> for people who like my channel. <coughs> That's all. <coughs> Hopefully... I will either have a good job soon or I will get 10 million views and uh, YouTube can just pay the rent. Right, viewers, I've got some flabbery rolls and uh, those things that you eat, what are the hot cross buns for some random reason. Uh, just going to go over to the mill, have a coffee, have a look at nature around by the mill after the storm, this and that. That's Buster's favourite place when I'm driving. He likes to sit on my knee driving down the road. But I'm not going to do it on camera. Sorry, Bubbles. I'm sorry, my sweet prince. Come on, let's get to this gin mill. Oh, you want me to switch the camera off, uh, Bunt? Because uh, the viewers have got fucking bored. Well, I don't know. I've got it. I haven't got it facing forward. But I've got it so you can see down the lanes a bit. As I'm going, viewers. So, yeah, let's go see Badgie and Lucy and the kids. And, uh, yeah. A trip down the lanes, viewers. A trip down the lanes. I want to get out detecting, but... I need to go door knocking. I need to knock on doors, get some permissions. I hope you can fucking hear me over the engine noise. I know it's like a big powerful engine. This is um, a V8. It's a V8 Honda Jazz viewers. I had one of our diggers, the Polish mechanic Pavel. I didn't let you in on it, but I've actually got a big V8 Chevrolet under the bonnet these days. Yeah. Oh, I just crossed the white line. But you didn't see that on camera, so... There's about three people who watch this channel who absolutely fucking hate me, viewers. Uh, they didn't see me cross the white line. Shout out to the three haters. <laughs> Bunty likes you too. We even like our haters on this channel, viewers. Fuck them. Fuck them sideways and just, just rise above. Yeah. Well, this is my main lane. This is my main drag from where I live down to Badger. I've got a few permissions on it, but we are a bit quiet. These permissions. We need to go out and get some more. As soon as the weather calms down next week, that's what I'm going to do, viewers. That's what I keep telling myself anyway. Have you ever been like that when you know you need to go and get permissions and you keep telling yourself, oh, you're going to do it? It's a bit like painting the kitchen and that, and the kitchen still looks fucking shite. Because you never get round to knocking on them farmers' doors and painting their kitchens either, viewers. Fuck's sake. I need to paint the kitchen and get some permissions. And if any farmers want any painting done, I'm your fucking man. I can do a very average job at a very reasonable price. <coughs> quite quickly. Anyway, the rain stopped, viewers. The rain stopped. 
about that camera. It's not too bad there, is it? Might see if we can turn it that way so you can see out. Well, there you go, viewers. I don't know whether you can see much there. I can't be fucking about too much. Yeah, this is uh, the lovely little localities on my doorstep. I do love these areas. The blooming marvellous viewers. Absolutely marvellous. I don't know whether this footage will make it to the final cut because I don't know what that camera angle's like. So I better fucking increase the waffle just to amuse you, hadn't I? Uh, yeah, all fucking big puddle here. I think this big puddle is just that shot. Did you hear that, viewers? Did you hear it? Fucking big puddle. How exciting is that, viewers? You even get fucking puddles that you can't even see on my videos. I don't know. This fucking channel just goes from strength to strength. Absolute strength to strength. Shout out to all my lovely viewers all over the UK, the Welsh daffodils, the Scottish thistles, the Irish fucking uh, lucky green things, uh, the English hobnobs, and then you've got the fucking Americans, they're not very old the Americans but we do love them, there's some tree damage there, you've got my Australian contingent, fucking love them absolutely love my Aussie mates it's too hard it's full of spiders you'd never get me going there but I always welcome them here to get them on the cool shit uh, then you've got my Dutch friends whoa another puddle here's the bridge and the river don't know whether you're getting much of this viewers here's Badger's Meadow on the right this road that we're travelling down now, I probably won't be able to travel down this tomorrow. If I want to go to Badges tomorrow, I shall have to go the long way. This will all be underwater tomorrow because the rains have already dropped upstream. They're going to come down, flood all this. There's more rain on the way. But anyway, we're going to Badges for a coffee, a waffle and the flabbery roll, I can see the big tree with all the damage. He's already had the tree surgeons in, they've cut it up neatly. Um, that cost 650 quid to take that limb off and, uh, and to cut it all up neatly. But here we are anyway at the mill house. Marvellous viewers, what would we do without a bit of Anglo-Celtic waffle? I know I haven't done a vlog for ages and some of you love them, some of you only want to tune in to hear me waffle. So you're getting plenty of waffle on this one viewers, <laughs> don't you worry. Semi-solid shits, fucking mistaken for Scouse drug dealers, you name it, I'm in full waffle mode because I fucking love you. This is the river just before tomorrow's flood viewers. Come on, bunt. Come on. This grass and all their garden will be flooded tomorrow. The main road will be flooded about a hundred meters that way. So, like I say, if I want to come round I'll have to drive all the way round that far side I never get tired of coming here though it's absolutely beautiful maybe I'll be able to give Badger a hand clearing up some of the debris this year after the flood The 
rain catchment is way upstream in Gloucestershire and parts of Wales I think this river runs and uh, yeah heavy rain up there means flooding down here and we've got lots more rain to come Still see the wind blowing in the trees there, it's still quite breezy after yesterday's killer storm Eunice. It's beautiful though, it's absolutely beautiful. That big old tree's got a bit of a sway on. Not too bad, but it was just swaying a minute ago. That's one of the protective trees. Rain's just started again. That is the huge black poplar. It is really big. If we zoom in, you might. It's big. It's one of the free protective species on, on the mill property. And that's the one that's uh, got some storm damage. I'll show you now. You can see it there, it's a big, big gaping wound. That wound might be the end of this uh, iconic tree. It's a black poplar, rare tree, protected species. If it's infected, that'll be the end of this huge tree. So I hope that doesn't Um, yeah, that's part of it. That's the rest of the limb. You can you can see just how how wide the limb was there, and it was hanging down. It was hanging down across here. It was a danger to the public. A lot of rare, rare wood there. You won't find much black poplar going about. I don't think might be able to be put to good use. That tree's about 10 foot in diameter at the base, at least maybe more. It's a big old tree. I hope it does survive. That's just one bit of local storm damage. Alright, Bunter. There's the swans there. Taking a bit of shelter. They're still getting blown about though. Feathers ruffling on the swan. Yes. One good thing about this storm and possible other storms to come, it'll wash loads of debris right down the river from like 50 miles upstream and that. And uh, hopefully, there'll be some more cool bottles and that to be found in that river come the spring when me and the likes of Sid and Frag can get in it. Always love coming to this little spot. This was the spot that Rachel brought me to one day when I asked, asked her to bring me to a local beauty spot. That was the first time I ever come here. So this is the mill just before tomorrow's flood basically viewers because it is going to happen and it does happen most years wouldn't like to be in there just now I think that can be today's thumbnail Just getting out viewers, just saying hello, just wishing you all well in this bad weather. It'll soon be over though, fingers crossed. Yeah, it's very high now, but it's at its tipping point. As soon as the rain comes downstream tomorrow, that'll be it then.
I never get tired of coming here though. It's absolutely beautiful. I could have detected this afternoon, but a little bit rainy on and off for Buster. And you'll only be putting your spade in the ground and filling up with water and all that. I do love hearing the sound of the rushing water though, it's amazing. Like I say, all, all kinds of stuff will get washed downstream and that bit there above that part of the weir, it acts like a trap. Uh, some years it badges come out into his garden, there's been like rowing boats and kayaks from 50 miles or more away washed down and stuck there so depending on how bad the weather is tomorrow i might come back and uh, we'll have a catch up and see how bad it is no doubt there'll be some more bottles and pipes that have been washed down and trapped ready for us to harvest in the spring anyway Love it though. You gotta love the English countryside, haven't you, viewers? I know uh, a lot of my foreign viewers, my American friends and Canadian friends, all you guys, you, you love seeing all this English countryside, I know that. So, yeah, just a little bit of today, doing a little uh, report on how things are at the mill. Bugs don't seem to phase though. Bunties are on the up. Made up the busters uh, busters now uh, much more back on form. Pissing for England. Well, that, that's the wind. Still quite blowy. English windy countryside. Uh, I know there's a few people who are going to manage to get out this weekend. Fair play to you guys. Shout out to all the diggers who are going to get out despite the weather and good luck to you all. Happy November. I'm just not to go first. Come on, Bunt. Cross there, mate. Cross. Careful, I've got you. I've got you, Bunt. It's full of power! normally walk across that bit like I say this bit is going to be the trap where loads of goodies will end up but there'll also be plenty of goodies washed down in there for spring pickings bountiful river that will keep getting year in year out for anybody intrepid enough to get into it and look for lost history
just caught up with Badger and Lucy and the kids and the mill house is uh, a different place without the uh, beautiful presence of their big fluffy black doggy <laughs> great Gracie bless her she will be very sadly missed poor Gracie but yeah the power of nature viewers Badger's just been giving me an update on uh, on the flood what's expected tomorrow he's expecting some of the gardens of the mill ground to be flooded it's going to be t two meters tomorrow apparently um, it needs to be 2.5 meters for this road that I'm driving on now to get cut off so it's not going to affect the road but certainly going to affect uh, the mill and probably some other properties that are adjacent to the river it's actually a nice day now viewers it's still blowing a bit but the sun shines out so yeah anglo celtic out and about doing his waffle and doing a vlog for myself and for you guys because you know you like to keep in touch and know how me and buster are getting on and luckily the bunt the bunt seems to be over the worst of his illness god bless his hairy little cotton socks never ceases to amaze me the power that's in this dog the absolute vitality and will to live such a little bumblebee he's old but he carries on like he's a puppy most days a lesson in that for us all viewers I was watching a documentary about old people and how they, they get to get old apparently if you drink moderately you'll live a lot longer than somebody who never drinks at all obviously don't smoke because that'll top you far sooner so I need to pack the cigarettes in as well um, yeah there you go viewers tips from old uncle anglo have a few tipples plenty of exercise but you only need to do as little as 45 minutes of it a day and you don't need to go crazy with it and you'll get to see into your 90s and stuff i wonder how old the oldest metal detector is in the uk detectorist i bet you somebody's still going well into their 80s just now god bless them <laughs> yeah so just got to watch out for this bend here viewers we don't want to we don't want to vlog into a hedge do we we don't want to end up on the old uh, front cover of the evesham journal famous birkenhead youtuber stuck in a hedge with his doggy we don't want that headline for them viewers not at all i hope you're all doing all right after these two storms wherever you are in the uk wherever you are in the world i know it's nice and sunny for my friends in australia fair play to them cobbers down there but they can keep their sun and their gold nuggets and their blood and killer spiders oh 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 Oh, I'm going to have to pull in here, let this car past. Yeah, it's all sunny. All sunny for my Australian viewers, apparently. <laughs> I think some of the Canadian viewers and that. Canadian and Americans are snowed in and still waiting for the floor. So shout out to all my snowy diggers in these far-flung climbs. I hope you're all putting that spade in the clod any week now viewers because i love you all and i love to know that you're all out digging because that's what we live for in it viewers beep 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 oh my oh my god oh my god it's a roman coin that's what we live for good afternoon mrs magpie have a wonderful day I speak to Magpie's viewers, each and every last one of them. I couldn't ignore that Magpie just because we were vlogging boggling. 
Here's one of my permissions here. It's quiet though. It's another one there. That's quiet. Stevie needs to get door knocking. Knock, knock, knock. Hello, my name's Stephen Gray. I've got a Scouse accent, but I only live round the corner from you. I'm a famous YouTuber. Can I come and dig your fields up? No! Fuck off, you lying bastard! You've just drove down from Birkenhead. That's not true, Farmer Jones, but uh, whatever floats your boat, you grumpy bastard. On to the next. The joys of door knocking viewers, all us brave ones have got to do it at some point and it's uh, well overdue for old Stevie. As soon as I can get out and about this week, I might make a door knocking video. A bum, bum squeaking video. Well the thing is, you get a lot of no's but you only need a tiny amount of yeses to transform your metal detecting not only can you be finding cool shit you can be making good friends in the farming community some of those farmers they make the best of friends viewers they're right funny characters oh we've got a vw right up our ass yeah i'm slowing down mate i'm slowing down because we're now in a 30 the 30 mile an hour zone fucking sign is for you and me, mate. It's for you and me, not just for me. I'm not an old codger. I don't want a fucking speeding ticket. Get off my fucking back bumper, you twat. Otherwise, I get out this fucking car and smash your fucking head in. That's how it goes in the head, viewers. I'm just vlogging, v, v dogging. And I'm sure you have them conversations in your head as well. Fucking tailgating bastards. I fucking hate them. I was dropping some friends off in Wales once. And uh, someone was tailgating me in a 50 zone. And we crossed into a 30 zone. Slammed the, slam the brakes on. And this nutter turns out he looked like he was like the local drug dealer. He nearly went into the back of me. And then he started following me, getting by the side of me, shaking his fist. And I said to me, mate, Phil, I said, which turning is it, Phil, for yours? He said, it's the next left, Steve. But as he said it, we were going past the cul-de-sac. Cul and he didn't mean that left, he meant the one after. I turned down the cul-de-sac while I had this fucking steroid dealer fucking going ape shit at me. So I was trapped in the cul-de-sac and he flew past and overshot it. But then he turned round, he's come in the cul-de-sac. I've, um, I've just been turned round in the cul-de-sac, ready to come out. And, uh, oh, this is going to get interesting. Um, yeah, so I'm trapped in the cul-de-sac. He's turned in, but I've managed to turn around. And uh, my brain went like Arnold Schwarzenegger in the Terminator, you know, when you see from outside, from inside the Terminator's eyes. <coughs> and you can see all the computations in his brain. And it was like this, this guy got out of his car and I'm trapped in the end of a cul-de-sac. <coughs> and my brain went all like... <coughs> And it measured where I had to get out of this cul-de-sac. And my brain said to me, Steve, drive up the pavement, past the parked cars, on the other side of the parked cars, on the pavement. And that's what I did. And as I have drove out the cul-de-sac, another car's come in and blocked this angry road raging drug dealer. There you go, viewers. 10 more minutes worth of waffle. I blooming love you and so does Buster, and we'll see you out digging soon. Like, comment, and do that scribe thing.